Well, that's never fun. It's not the grinder's fault, I bought cheap belts. Let's try again. Okay, so time for a bit of an update on this. Now, I think the last thing that you saw me making was the steering rack mount. Um, that's in place, uh, and that was about the last thing I think that I filmed when I was building this. I struggled to film a lot of it because I had honestly no idea what I was doing, to be quite frank. It was a lot of trial and error to try and get this tilting mechanism to work and to get the steering in uh, to work again with the tilting mechanisms. It didn't steer when you tilted the cart. So I've done, what I'll do is I'll talk you through everything that I've built now and everything that's on the cart and where it sits. And then uh, I can give you a demonstration now of the actual tilting mechanism working. And I figured it was just a bit easier to build it rather than explain what I wanted to build. So again, starting from the front, wheels are all mounted. Uh, and they're built onto the hubs as well. They're not trued up, they do need a bit of truing, um, but I'll do that at some point. Uh, brake mounts are on as well. Um, steering is in, and it's also got this damper on it, uh, just to well, just, just dampen the steering a little bit. It just makes it so much nicer. Uh, the steering feels just a little bit more heavy, because there's not a lot of weight to these things, so it just feels very light, and you can sort of have a bit of bump steer, it wobbles a lot, but this just takes that wobble out, and it feels very nice. So we've also got in here now the full tilting mechanism. So the way the tilting mechanism works is it's controlled via some foot pedals. Now the foot pedals sit here at the front of the cart, these two bits here. If I just take the axle stand out, that's just holding this cart up at the moment. What I should be able to do is demonstrate now how this works. So as the cart tilts, these foot pedals move backwards and forwards. So you control the tilt by pushing these pedals. So the way that works then is we've got kind of a push strut on the corner here, comes up to this pivot mechanism in here, which 
Let me try and balance everything. Which pivots around this bolt here and then goes onto this push rod section here, which then goes through. Let's see if we can get to the pedal here. So the mechanism from the pedal side looks a little bit something like this. You push, push with your foot on here, and then as you push, it pushes the rods around that pivot point and allows it to tilt. Now, I was really worried, obviously, about this part of the build, this part of the car, because everything hinges around this working smoothly and well. And I've literally just finished building it. I've given it a quick test, and it does work, and it's not, it's not too strenuous to push on your feet. Um, obviously, I've not got the seat mounted in here yet, but what I'll do is I'll put the camera down on the tripod, I'll dive in, and I'll show you all how it works. Okay, so axle stands are away. There's nothing holding this up. If I'm holding the steering wheel now, I want to make a right-hand turn, tilt the cart. I can now push with these pedals, and I push. That means I can stay straight, turn the cart, and tilt it at the same time. And it works pretty easy, pretty smooth. Now I can steer as well, as we're turning everything. It's relatively easy to balance, and like, pretty quick to, to tilt and maneuver, so I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be fine. I have a damper that's gonna go on this axis as well. So if something does happen it can't just fling the cart sideways. Um, but it's pretty cool how it works. You can just control the tilt inside. I'm very excited to give this to give this a test.